Hey guys, Drakevich here. Today I'm going to be going over one of the new missions. Evacuate high value assets. On the Atomaton side. Now this mission got a little bit harder because of the factory striders that was added to the game. We can use the same strategy as we used for the Terminants, which would be using Order Sentry, EMS Sentry, Rocket Sentry, and Auto Cannon Sentry. You want to place the rocket and the auto cannon in front of the two mortars. The mortars will shoot over. The cannon sentry and the rocket sentry will be shooting down dropship. And they'll also be shooting the factory striders. While you're waiting for your turrets to kill things, I recommend shooting the factory striders underneath the pin where the laser turrets are. Then the only way they can hit you is with the laser cannon on the top which will easily be taken out by turrets eventually. Heavy armor can be very good here. Since you're not going to be running around very often, and the increased armor and the health will keep you alive. Being around. Localization confusion is also pretty good here because the enemies can actually call in more enemies if you're not careful. I like to stand back really far so that they can't even call in players and then you have your mortars kill them before they even get to you and they'll never call in enemies until around the last round then they can call in enemies because they're there's so many enemies pushing forward, they're eventually going to call in enemies, that's why I like localization confusion. It helps a lot if your teammates are also using turrets. I told these guys we went into the mission to take turrets with them. A lot of them are only level 20 and 40. And we were still able to complete the mission. We finished with still 20% of the mission time remaining. We got full experience and full requisition slips. I ended up getting 268 kills. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.